So we are going to get started with Canva for Beginners. Um, so basically, who am I? I am a graphic designer and I'm also a virtual producer. I worked about 10 years in the printing industry and I've been in design and marketing for about 22 years. I started my first business, Graphic Precision, about 12 years ago. That is my graphic design and marketing business. And then about two and a half years ago, I started Elevated Virtual, which a lot of you know is my virtual production company. So in the chat, if you could do me a favor, you'll find the chat at the bottom of the screen. There's a little button that says chat. Go ahead and click that. That'll open up for you. Let me know what business you are in and what is your role at that business? I'd like to get an idea of who we have here today. So I'll give you guys a second to find that and uh, list out what you guys do. And also take an opportunity to go through it and read what other people do. There may be somebody you could connect with while you're here. Um, I think it's a great way to find out what people do. All right, that looks like it's slowed down a little bit. So we'll move on to our first poll. I'm going to go ahead and launch this poll, and I want to get an idea of what your experience is with Canva. So I'm going to go ahead and launch that. You should see that up in the middle of your screen now. Go ahead and click what about your experiences. Give it a couple more seconds for that. It looks like we're falling about the middle, have an account, but haven't really created anything or have created a few designs. So that's great. Um, what if you actually put what is Canvas? So I guess you're, you're in the right place today. And it looks like two of you say you have actually used Canva quite a bit, which is awesome to see as well. So I'm going to go ahead and end that. And I'll just share the results so everybody can see that real quick. So again, we're, we're definitely in the middle of having an account and haven't really created anything and created a few designs. So that's great to hear. So go ahead and stop sharing that. So what are we gonna do today for the next about an hour? We're gonna have five sections. The first section is I wanna talk about what is the difference between the free and the Canva Pro account? The second section, we will talk about the Canva dashboard, which is where you actually land when you first log in. Then there's part three, which is the Canva design editor. That's the really important and that's the really fun part. That's where you get in, you get to play with designs and you get to really do your creativity. I also wanna talk about how to stay organized. One of the things that a lot of people that do creative work find is they, they start losing where things are and they start forgetting where they had things. Canva can get pretty crazy if you're not organized. So we're gonna talk about that. And then I have a special offer and also the PDF that I promised everybody for the very end. So we're gonna start with what is the difference between the free and the Canva Pro account? So let's look at the features and the pricing. So the pricing here you can see is the monthly. Um, it also has the ability to do it yearly. So that is an option, you'll save about 16%. So I do recommend if you plan on using Canva to, to look at that. Um, but more importantly, we wanna look at some of the features that I think are really important. So the first thing is as the free account, you only get about a quarter of the available free stock photos, graphics, videos, and audio. You only get about 25% with that free account. The, um, the other two accounts, the pro and the team, I'm not really gonna go into the team account because I, I know most people here are probably looking at more at just the, the single use pro account. You'll get 4 million of those uh, stock photos, graphics, videos, and audio. That's huge. Now you get a million plus when you're on the free account. So it definitely is somewhere to start. Um, the other feature that's really cool is you can upload your own font. We're going to talk about branding and a branding kit within Canva in a little bit, but you can actually upload your font. So if your company has a specific font they have to use when creating graphics, you can upload that. 
Now look at the difference in the numbers for the uh, templates. It's actually rather large. My spotlight here. So for free, you get 8,000. For pro, you get 60,000. That's quite a jump in the free templates or the templates that you can use. Some other things that I think are really important are, again, the brand kit. The brand kit is only available in the pro version. That allows you to be able to set up your logos, your fonts, your colors, things like that. And again, I'll show you that in a little bit. Another thing that's really cool that you get with the pro account is the magic resizer. This is super important when you're doing social media posts, because we all know that Facebook has a slightly different size than Instagram. And then um, LinkedIn has a slightly different size than the other two. Well, there's a tool right within Canva that will quickly resize your post or your graphic for you without having to do a lot of work. So that, again, is only available at the pro version. The background remover is another really great feature. Um, a lot of people want to do um, background removal in photos so that it's just them standing on a background or an object in front of a background. You can do that with the pro account. Another big one is the increase in size of storage. So for free, you get five gigs. It's not a lot when, you, when it comes to doing graphics. The pro account gives you one terabyte. That's quite a bit. Um, another thing, again, going back to what we're talking about with organization is folders, your unlimited folders on any of these accounts. And I promise you, if you don't use folders, you're gonna lose things. So we'll talk about folders in a little bit as well. Another thing that's important to my heart because of my background in the printing industry is you can export print ready files in CMYK for pro account. So that means you can send your file to a printer and they're gonna be happy with it. If you try to do that with the free account, you're gonna get a lower resolution and an RGB, which is not the right color space for printing. So again, if you wanna be able to do print products and be able to do business cards, brochures, stuff like that, you definitely wanna have the pro account. And then there are tools for teams. I will just mention that because if you're in an organization that has a bunch of different people that wanna to work together, there are collaboration tools within Canva that can be super useful.